this morning I got out of bed and the first thing I did was pulled up my trusty tricorder, whatever you want to call it, but, you know, be all end all of our lives anymore is this little device, but I pulled it up to check messages. First thing I do when I get up in the morning, because a lot does happen overnight when I'm sleeping and will impact what we do on the radio the following day. And I had a couple of instant messages from a friend of mine in law enforcement, and he was telling me that two police officers had been shot during the riots in Louisville last night. It looks like the injuries may be non-life-threatening, as it's called, but still, this has got to stop. I, and Tucker Carlson had a great piece on his program last night. I didn't get to see it, but I caught some of the, the clips of it this morning where he said, no evidence backs up the arguments of Black Lives Matter, nor anyone in academia, media, and politics who back up Black Lives Matter and its argument. None. Zilch. Nada. The research just simply isn't there. If Even if, if, if you had charges that were filed, let's say, in Kentucky against all three police officers, now one of them got a charge for you know, wantonness or something along those lines, and that was because some shots were fired and may have struck another building nearby or did strike another building nearby. But you, you, you cannot, if you don't have the evidence, you cannot pursue anything else here. If you did, it would be an injustice in itself. And you're not likely going to get any convictions when the evidence comes to light in front of a jury. Therefore, you're just going to simply cost your taxpayers a great deal of money. This is, this is ludicrous. The, the fact that this just continues to go on like this and then there's the encouragement for people to go out and burn things down. Mark Stein was also saying on Tucker uh, Carlson's program last night that in some cities, going out and actually trying to you know, repair your business after it's been looted and burned is, uh, is, is actually more criminal than apparently the people who've been burning it down with what they're trying to do to you. And in Seattle, they've hired a guy after they defunded parts of the police department, they've hired some guy to work on community problems who has a background, and I kid you not, Every news report I've read says he was a pimp. Uh, <laughs> these are the type of people we're promoting in America today. This is just this is just turning into one great big Sodom and Gomorrah. And if you say it, you're called on the carpet. People attack you, and people say that you're wrong. We are living in some bizarro times, and I don't know how we're going to come out of it unless we tell the police officers, you now have permission to shoot back. I know that might sound dire. But it wouldn't take very long. It would only take a few times, a few instances around the country. And a lot of these people would just simply go home and that would be the end of it. You have to tell them this is no longer acceptable because it's becoming, people say it will end perhaps after the election. I don't know. Once you allow it to happen for a very, very long time, it then becomes habit on the part of the people who are doing it. Then they believe they can always do it. In, in other words, they inculcate it. Is that a word uh, that fits in that situation? I don't know, but I'll throw it out there. And it just becomes the norm. Well, this can't be the norm. We can't live this way. This is not how people are meant to live. One of the quick thing, I've got a show coming up in a few minutes, so I do have to run for that. Uh, the show airs on News Radio 1310 KLIX, uh, which you can hear in Southern Idaho. But if not, you can always listen to us online at newsradio1310.com or download an app for this thing and uh, listen to us that way. But I'm going to talk a little bit later in my program. Uh, there's a, now a national law being proposed by Kelly Leffler of Georgia. She's a U.S. senator to bar transgender boys from playing sports in high school against girls or even in college. Now, we have a law like that on the books here in Idaho, and it's being challenged by all of the usual suspects on the left. The other day, HBO came in and did an interview with Barbara Ehart, who's the former college basketball coach and the state legislator here in Idaho who sponsored the legislation in the beginning. Uh, she's been on my program too, talking about it as well. And uh, Bernie Goldberg, who's a very conservative type of guy, but I guess he still feels he has to ask the question. He says, yes, but if there's nobody actually trying to play girl sports in uh, Idaho, why do you need the law? Well, okay, Bernie, it, the answer to that might be an, an analogy, maybe a little bit of a metaphor. And that is, there has not been a fire in my neighborhood in the five years that I've lived in it. Therefore, why do we need a fire department? You see, this is, this, is, this is where these questions become just a little silly. And this is the stuff that comes out of the mouths of liberals. You do it because somebody is going to try to do it, to make a statement, and they're going to be egged on by mainstream media to do it. That's why you do it now. It's an ounce of prevention. Got to run. Hope to see you all on the radio. Also, if you like our videos, 
click the subscribe button at the top of the page, and you can always leave us comments in the comment section.